Let me clear this up. I have been to Puff Daddy's house with Wale and Shy Glizzy. I wasn't at the party. I wasn't in the rooms. I, I don't know nothing. I, I don't know nothing. I was just there to watch Shy. Shy was there. I don't know what happened back then, back then, over there. But I'm explaining to y'all my YouTube channel, y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube. I'm about to turn up. It wasn't no party. I think it was a business meet. First of all, y'all, y'all wanna know what's crazy? And do y'all not know I'm telling the truth? Y'all see what Wale did? Wale threatened me. This is what Wale said. Wale said, Will wishes to my oppositions. Is he talking to me or Diddy? Because I don't know, bro. Like, Wale didn't come out and say, that story was a lie. Diddy never hung me off a balcony. He never said none of that. This is what he said. Will wishes to my oppositions. Who the uh, Me or Diddy? I don't know who he talking to. Diddy the one hung you off the balcony by your feet, bitch. Trying to understand it. It said, that's a line from ambition. Your dick riding ass don't even know what a subliminal is. Wale on every radio, every talk show, every everything about getting hung over a balcony. His next reply on his Insta story is going to be replying to the situation. Why the fuck would he just put this on his Insta story after all these allegations? Make it make sense, bro. Y'all dumb and shit. I hate fans. I've realized I'm not a fan. I don't know how y'all think. I don't be on motherfuckers' YouTubes and they comments watching motherfuckers and shit. So I don't know. Like, be a fan. Shut your fan ass up. You be over fanning. Like, stop over being a fan. Who else the fuck he talking to? What else the fuck he talking about? Fuck, why they don't even post on this fucking Insta story? They say, let's not get on a Swear the Black Man campaign. You keep talking about Swear the Black Man. Let's not get on an Aunt Glizzy dick riding campaign. Go do something else in your life. Watching me ain't gonna get you nowhere. Fuck. It's hard to keep up, bro. And keep shining, bro. I'm watching. I appreciate y'all. Everybody that's fucking with me, I fuck with y'all. Why y'all ain't help Wale? Y'all was in there with Diddy off the strength of him. Yeah. I didn't give a fuck about... First of all, we wasn't in there with Diddy. Diddy wasn't there when I was there, nigga. It was just Wale and a girl. I don't give a fuck. I've been around Wale 70 times with girls. It's just Wale and a girl. I didn't know the fucking girl was Diddy fucking girl. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I know I was prepped before I got to the studio and we around Diddy girl. Diddy don't like niggas around his girl. This, that, and the third. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then Diddy coming through the door. All I'm telling you is, bitch, this Puff Daddy, nigga. He got enough money to know who not killed. You, you still, the fuck you see niggas locked up for killing Tupac, right? They telling you who did it. He still ain't in jail question or investigator or nothing. That's how much power he got. Diddy a billionaire. Leave Diddy alone. Uncle Love. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. I wasn't trying to die that day, nigga. If they had Wale over the bounty, listen, man. If they had the nigga who I was at the studio with over the balcony by his feet, what the fuck you think they could have did to me? They could have let my feet go. The fuck? I'm not getting in that shit. My job is to make sure Shaq Glizzy's okay. They walked in the studio on some Wale shit. That's not my job. I didn't sign up for that. I don't work for that company or nothing. If I work for Pepsi and they rob Coca-Cola... I know I'm here to protect Pepsi, and they come in there and rob for Coca Colas. I don't give a fuck. Long as Pepsi ain't get touched, the rest of that shit around his Pepsi means nothing to me. He took a Coca Cola and four Sprites. I don't give a fuck. I don't work for Coca Cola or Sprite. <laughs> Pepsi is well okay. He was good. Do you understand that? The mission was all eyes on Prince Sendaji. Fuck. I ain't got nothing to do with it. They say you can sue for defamation, Slim. Wave is dying. Defamation on my dead grandmother on GQ grave. That shit happened. While they got hung over a fucking balcony by Puff Daddy. Who the fuck? You did, did Puff Daddy say it didn't happen? Because he damn sure seen it. It's the only story in the world with his name in it. It's the biggest shit ever. 
Wale seen it, then Wale said it happened. No, bitch, because the whole industry might know that shit. It's shit going on in the industry that you don't know about. Oh, my mother, that story been told before in the industry. It just never got out because it's Diddy. Diddy stories don't get out. If you think I'm the only nigga in the world know that Diddy got his ass, I mean, uh, Wale got his ass hung on a balcony, you stupid as shit, you a fan. You didn't see Wale saying it. Wale said this. This is what Wale said. This is Wale replied to a nigga saying he got hung off a balcony. This does not say I didn't get hung off a balcony. This say well wish to my opposition. Like, y'all praying on my downfall. Like, well, I see y'all some well wishes. Like, this like a death threat. Like, I'm going to get y'all ass killed. You leaking my stories. You keep telling my business and shit. Like, that's what I took from this post, but you didn't. I don't know, man. That damn sure wasn't it. It didn't happen. The fuck are you talking about? It definitely happened. It said you got to get somebody else vouch that was there. The crazy part about it is, I told you who I was with. You think he going to vouch? Y'all go ask Shy Glizzy, have Wale ever got hung over a motherfucking balcony by Puff Daddy? That's what y'all ask him. Ask him that exact question. That's the million dollar question. Just ask him them exact words. Have Wale, don't ask nothing else but these words. Don't ask nothing else. Have Wale ever got hung over a balcony by Puff Daddy? Do you know? Yes or no? Ask him. Ask Wale. Ask Puff Daddy. Out of them three people, it's four people you can ask. You can ask Shy. Have Wale ever got his ass hung over a balcony by Puff Daddy? You can ask Puff Daddy or you can ask Wale. I'm telling you, I know what the fuck. I know what the fuck is going on. Fuck. They say engineer gave the drop. Either that or that bit. Nah, this what it is though. I thought the engineer gave the drop. Diddy got people that follow that girl around when she need a house, period. It's that deep. Ain't no motherfucking drop, nigga. They knew where the fuck while they got picked up, man. They seen all that shit, nigga. As we was going to the studio, Diddy probably was in another state. I don't know where the fuck Diddy, first of all, listen to me. We at a studio, bro. I don't know where the fuck Diddy came from. Diddy don't live around the corner, bitch. Diddy don't probably don't even live here. Diddy probably PJ here. Like, they seen this shit happening. What the fuck is you talking about? Bitch, you thought, right, listen, you think we in DC and Puff Daddy live around the corner from the studio? I don't know where the fuck Puffy came from. Puffy could have just hopped off a G5 from Brazil. I don't fucking know where he came from. He didn't live around the corner. I don't even think he lived in that fucking state. I don't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> I told you. I was a little ass kid and I was confused. The fuck? I don't know where the fuck Puffy came from. You act like he came from just around the corner. Come here. They say do your homework on P. Diddy getting his audit smoke. I ain't doing no homework on Puff Daddy. First of all, in these stories, do you hear me disrespecting Puff Daddy? No, I don't got nothing against Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy ain't did nothing to me. I don't I got nothing against whatever the Puff Daddy. I'm just talking about Wale getting hung over the bounty. That's what I'm talking about. This shit more about Wale getting hung over the bounty than Puff Daddy. You know I'm saying I've been to a couple parties. I just ain't ever been to a Puff Daddy party, and I don't want to go. But you know I'm saying everybody been to a couple parties. I just know what party to go to, what party not to go to. They said them Puff Daddy party. I don't want to be there. First of all, you gotta be like. To go to a Puff Daddy party, you got to be like somebody. I don't even make the requirements for, like, I'm a Z-list celebrity. They don't make Puff Daddy parties. You feel me? I'm good. I couldn't even go to one of them parties anyway. I'm not, I'm not Illuminati-ish. When I get Illuminati-ish, when y'all see me start blowing up and shit, now I'm invited to them parties and shit. I ain't even on the stats to get invited to the party. So, like, I'm good. I don't even want to get that big. You know you a big ass celebrity. Whenever you get invited to a Puff Daddy party, that's when you know that's your peak in your life. Like that's when you made it. Like nah, I don't even want to make it. I don't be smoking OG no more, bro. Damn. What y'all fighting? Let me see the rope. Come in. See that rope. Come here. I guess I ain't getting it. They say stop calling that man Puff Daddy. 
I don't give a fuck what his name is. Puff Daddy, P Diddy, whatever you want to call him. Just think about this. In this world, I got to stop what I'm doing and listen to you. Why the fuck am I listening to you? Stop calling that man Puff Daddy because you said stop calling that man Puff Daddy. I got to build my words and what I'm saying around whatever matches to make you feel good. Who the fuck are you? That's the stupidest shit ever. Shut the fuck up and keep watching. You talking too much. Don't you know that 30 million that he sent to Cassie? You would have let Puffy fuck you for that 30 million. And Puffy just said, man, you want to come to one of my parties free of charge, a private, private plane. You just got to suck the dick and let him fuck you and sign a, uh, what's it called? A non disclosure. You just took that 30 million. I can tell by the way you act. I'm talking about, don't call him P. Diddy. You the fuck Diddy for 30 million. I swear, for that 30 million, you that Diddy fuck you, you weird ass nigga. Goofy ass nigga. Like, don't call him P. Diddy. Okay, all right. Goofy ass nigga. Goofy ass nigga always trying to kick it with no legs. Nigga trying to get private planed out by Diddy. He trying to Diddy bop on a jet. Goofy ass nigga. Just say that. If you want to Diddy bop on a jet because you feel like a bad boy, just say that, Bicky Smalls. If you put me on the PJ Puff, I promise he gonna come out. He gonna have you dancing. I don't know, but I know if you you can put me on the PJ, and he gonna have the people dancing. Stupid ass nigga.